Hello, everyone. How are you? Good morning. Welcome to the last session. I imagine you're kind of tired, but there's something special for this morning, I'm sure. So we invite you all to come in, grab a place. Everybody who's watching the live stream, welcome as well. We're going to have a beautiful morning worshiping God. So just give us 30 seconds to plug. I invite you to just take a moment to pray this morning. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You've been so gentle with us, so clear. We love you so much, so much, so much. We enjoy being with you. And let us never say enough let us always say more 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 we want more of you give us the best wine today give us the best wine surprise us once more Yeah. 
Se abren corazones Se abren corazones Nada se esconde a ti Te deseamos Dios Solo tú eres santo Solo tú eres digno Ven Santo Espíritu yeah. We welcome you in this place We welcome you in this place Almighty God of love We welcome We welcome you with praise. We welcome you with praise. Almighty God of love, we welcome you every heart. Let every heart adore. Let every soul away. Almighty God of love, we welcome you in this place. We welcome you with praise. We welcome you with Almighty God of love, we welcome in this place. I raise a hallelujah in the presence of my enemy. I raise a
scripture this morning from Psalm 23 because the Lord, we lack nothing, right? I don't know about y'all, but I have never encountered so much sweetness in one week before. The Lord has been so good to us this week. He has been so personal to us this week. He has been so present with us this week. Here we go. Oh Lord, you are our shepherd.
in every city come and lead on Lord lead on planted dreams in the good soil of my heart. I felt like as I was preparing to lead you guys a couple of weeks ago that the Lord said, I want them to sing this as they go back to their churches. Many of you, it's true that you've had a beautiful week and you know the generosity of God, but the, the reality is, is the circumstances haven't changed that you're going back to in your church, you know? And that's like, oh, that doesn't sound very hopeful, Annabeth. Thanks a lot. But I think the hope in it is that God has planted things in you this week that will sustain you for your churches, you know? And it's good to have these things to go, oh Lord, maybe I've lost half of my congregation in COVID. Or maybe there's just so much sickness. Whatever it is that you're aware of, the weights, the, the circumstances you're headed back to, that your strength, your hope, your life is found in Him, in Him alone. So. If you don't know this song, I'm sorry, it's not very well known, but I'd love for you, how many of you have ever had spiritual direction before? Okay, a lot of you, good, it's good stuff. Just let this wash over you and then sing along, but maybe just let it soak into you as well, okay? It goes like this, you have planted dreams. You have planted dreams in the good soul of my heart. You sound beautiful. I know it's just the start. Give me patience for over, for over these seeds, the water, the water of your plans. My life, my life is in your. Foundation, my foundation. We're gonna sing it again. You have planted dreams. You have planted dreams in the good soil of my heart. Thank you, God. I know it's just the
Doesn't matter what I do, I want to be found in you. I want to be found in you. Bring your waves of hope. Bring your waves of strength. Bring your waves of healing. I just uh, feel an invitation to really quickly turn to one another, just the person you're beside. It'll work out, don't worry. And uh, as you turn to the person, I know we have different colored bands, so go ahead. I'm not actually being facetious. If you feel uncomfortable, put your mask up, you know, do all the work, okay, to be safe, all of that. But if you felt comfortable, tell somebody, I'd love if we could appropriately lay hands towards the heart just, just, you know, upper shoulder, people, upper shoulder. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, and and, and I, what, I, what I felt like the Lord specifically wanted people to say to one another is this. Don't, yeah. I, wanted, I felt like the Lord wanted to say, I'm your foundation. I'm your solid rock. Stand on nothing else. This would be the exhort, exhortation the Lord would want to give to you this morning. I'm your, I'm your firm foundation. I'm your solid rock. Stand on nothing else. Nothing else. And then whatever else prophetically you want to pray, obviously God is with us. You can pray, you can pray over that person. In Christ the solid rock we stand. Everything else is sinking sand. Strength, strength, my strength is in you. Steady our feet beneath us, O oh God. You are a firm foundation that is unmovable, unshakable. May no one leave here today discouraged in any way, God. Even if it looks like they have a huge mountain to climb, may they have hope and strength in their bodies and their hearts and their minds. And I just... I speak the, the power of God's identity over his children this morning, in Jesus' name, as sons and daughters of the King, that that would just be what we live from, God. Let that be. This firm foundation we stand on is the fact that you are our Father, and we are your son and daughter, and we love it, God. We love belonging to you. Steady our feet underneath us, oh God. One more time, sing this again. Strength, here we go. Strength, my strength is in you.
I'll teach you guys a new song today. Maybe new to some of you, not others. It comes out of scripture. It's a beautiful picture of worship and revelation. I love that all of your pastors, it won't be like foreign language to you when we sing about Jesse's, uh, David's root and the, the, the scroll and the seal. When I do this at church on Sundays, half the people are like, is this a mythical novel we're singing about? And I have to remind them, it's in the Bible. Go read the Bible. <laughs> But this song, guys, um, it's, it's interesting. It's, it's written like a liturgy, okay? So it doesn't work well if you don't participate in the work of the people, you know? And so it's, it's written like I'm the reader and you're the responder. And so I'm going to say something like, do you feel the world is broken? And, and you're going to sing a part that says, we do. And then I may sing something like, this one makes me cry. So I'm going to say it now so hopefully the tears will just pass by me. Does the Father truly love us? He does. And these beautiful singers, Alex, David, Tiadra, they've done so good this week. Thank you, by the way, for worshiping so well for us this week. I, I, I am so honored to lead worship with all of you. Oh my gosh, I'll start crying. But anyway, you're gonna sing along, okay? And they're gonna sing your part with you, okay? Is this making sense? So I'm the reader, you're the responder, okay? It's beautiful. Is he worthy?
people. so worthy. You're so worthy, God. You're so worthy, God. Worthy of it all. You're worthy of it all. For from you are all things, and to you are all things. You deserve the glory. from you are all things, and to you are all things, you deserve the glory. Is anyone worthy? Is anyone whole? Is anyone able to break the seal and open the scroll? conquered the grave. He is David's root and the Lamb who died to ransom the slave. Is he worthy? Is he worthy of all blessing and honor and glory? Is he worthy? For from you 
for being with us today. You've been with us every session, Lord. It's like you don't get sick of us. We're so thankful. <laughs> we love that you want to be with us, God. We want to be with you. 
And I, I just, one more thing, and then I'm going to let you guys uh, come up, uh, whatever's next. But um, I just bless your churches with the refreshing of the presence of God. And, and through the visitation of the Holy Spirit, like the visitation of the Holy Spirit, that signs and wonders, it's not about the signs and wonders, it's about the visitation of the Lord, His living presence. And I bless your churches to have a refreshing experience with the Lord, starting this Sunday, that you go, oh my gosh, the Lord just began to pour Himself out. God, we ask you to do this in the name of Jesus. We, we don't want to do this without your living presence with us. It's really boring without you, Lord. It's really boring without you. I want you, Lord. Our churches want you. So fill these churches and may they have visitations of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we ask this, God. We love you so much. We love you. We love you. We love you. We love you, Lord. We love you so, so much. We love you so much, Lord. Amen. Amen. We give you all the glory. Good job, people. Good worship. Have a seat. We're so glad you're here.